Uh, the Senator from uh, Worcester and Norfolk, Mr. Fatman, for what purpose do you rise? Thank you, Madam President. I rise for a point of personal privilege. What is the point of personal privilege? Uh, to make a brief statement and a motion. Uh, the Senator wishes to make a brief statement. Are there... Uh, Thank you very much, Madam President, and through you to the members. I rise today with clarity of mind and purpose. What happened on May 25, 2020 to George Floyd was, quite frankly, despicable. It should never happen in this country, but the fact that it did is the reason why we're here today. Before the Massachusetts Senate, today is a piece of legislation known as S-2800, the Reform Build and Shift Act. For the edification of the public, it's important to understand how this came to be today. This past July 5th, on over Independence Day weekend, a 73-page bill was released by the Ways and Means Committee at 5.13 p.m. Sunday night. On Monday, the bill was given an amendment deadline of less than 24 hours later, at Tuesday, 4 p.m. 145 amendments were filed to a 73-page bill with less than 48 hours to read, digest, and vote in one of the most consequential votes we are going to take in this session, if not the entire time I've been in this Senate. It's important to note that while this legislation is supposed to have a public hearing to ensure transparency, accountability, and avoid unintended consequences, this bill did not. Just the facts. If this process seems a little bit hasty, it might be because, in my opinion, it was. You can imagine all of us have heard from a tremendous amount of people, particularly those who I represent, who have been reaching out and asking, what the heck is going on? I feel obligated to address some of the groups of the people who I've spoken to over the last 24 hours. First, to our law enforcement officers, our police chiefs, our police officers, our corrections officials and personnel. Thank you for your service. You haven't heard that too often as of late, but I want you to know that the members of this Senate, we support you. Civil society depends on your success. We respect you and we appreciate your service. We understand our Massachusetts law enforcement officers are the best trained, well-educated, and well-meaning in our nation, bar none. This is due to our high expectations. We demand excellence from our men and women who wear the badge. And it is unfair to say that Massachusetts law enforcement doesn't rise to that excellence. They do. They do it every day, they do it every hour, they do it every minute, they do it every second. And the reason why they do that is because their lives are on the line. That's why they rise to that excellence. The egregious sins of other law enforcement in other parts of our country should not be their burden to bear. And we know, even now, law enforcement wants to be a part of the solution. I want to address the families of law enforcement who have reached out. You should be proud of the work your moms and your dads, your husbands and your wives, your sisters, your brothers do. The quality of the character of your family is so often beyond reproach in extremely challenging and difficult circumstances that we thank you for your service. The service of knowing that when your mom or dad leaves or your husband and wife leaves home, you don't know if they're gonna return or even if they'll return as the same person. And finally, and very most importantly, if you are listening and you or your family are a victim of any injustice or any brutality by law enforcement, I am so sorry. And I know sorry is not enough. It never will be enough. But we are here today because of you. And we will act because of you. The injustice borne by you is an injustice on every single citizen and resident in this commonwealth. And we will do everything in our legal power to ensure it does not happen again to you, to your family, to your friends, to your neighbors, to anyone you know.
Everyone, everyone in this Senate wants a good policing reform bill that makes sense and is effective because your life matters. I believe that. Every member of this Senate believes that. And people outside this building believe that. But the truth is, this bill, as I've outlined, had no hearing. It had little to no input from numerous stakeholders publicly. And I can't emphasize this enough. Transparency is the absolute necessary in our political process because it encourages ideas, debate, facts, figures, and most importantly, good outcomes. The truth is, when this process doesn't happen, we can create unintended consequences that severely and negatively impact people in our society. The truth is, civil society doesn't only depend upon those who enforce the law. It turns on those who make the law, us. I think we can do better. And even in the minority of one, the truth is the truth. Which is why I'm moving today to lay the bill on the table. I hope we can have a public hearing on this and get to it as fast as possible. And I respectfully ask that we endeavor to do so. Thank you, Madam President.